Hey, you. This is a recording where I am going to make and submit, try to be in creative projects in getting some serious work done. It may look kind of odd. It's okay because I have this. right there in the third eye chakra to protect against evil eye jinx removal return to sender so this is just an acronym of some fucking protection magic so there you go the evil eye is reflected back at you the evil casted you send is casted back at you. Your karma is casted back at you. Okay. So, um, we're going to do a little bit of incense burning to erase the controlling negative energies that surround me. This is an incense, as you can see, this is to banish evil away. Sense, banish your evil away. Get away from me, stay away from me, quit bothering me, go away. Okay, so we have this lit. Put that right there so it can burn. We're also going to burn some dragon's blood. Put that on the torch, burn a little bit. Activity surrounding technology interference. To burn away that negativity. So the third eye on my forehead is the reflection back, return to sender, evil sent back. Whoever casts the evil eye against me will be set in this pupil of the eye and reflect it back as an energy source, as a reverse magic to dispel the negativity energy surrounding my auric field. So I burn a little bit more dragon blood. Dragon's blood. Okay. So that's good enough. I don't mean. So, so. And then we also got regular sage. Also a good negativity repellent. I can get it together. I have just a little piece right here, but let me bring it and we smudge ourselves with the smoke. So we need energetic negativity forces go around me can disperse and repel the negativity around the 
Okay, so we exhale all the negative out of our body. And so in this energy forts, we are going to show in this video of the hacking internet search results under my name, Lady Hexen Moon. How this guy, Mika Ajala, is up to no good, his conniving ways, nothing going good for him. So he has to bring me down to his level, to bring me down to his level where he wants me to notice him and just, uh, he's just his own psychological warfare in his own head. So he's got a really serious problem. Well, obviously he's been stalking me for six years now as everybody knows that if you guys are watching my videos, I have no idea anyone sees this or notices or but you know what it is my world and I do what I want and if i feeling creative I'm gonna go out there and go do it so why not I mean my work is um, can be harmful and toxic but harmless in a way because it's only standing up for my rights and for my beliefs and somebody tries to step their foot on me and I will not allow that to happen so I mean this guy always wants to challenge me every day because he has an obtrusive psychological problem with himself uh, thinking that he has some kind of dominance uh, submissive uh, characteristic personalities over me which is not true I mean this guy thinks he can just control um, women and trying to interfere with them and harass them in their own lives and make interference and just try to act like a fucking asshole to fucking be a harassing fucking bitch that fucking will not leave you alone and is fucking stubbornly fucking stupid ignorant and fucking arrogant in way just to let you know in analogy that this bitch this fucking male fucking whore fucking has a serious fucking mental drunk problem with himself and he does not know what to do so in desperate attempts he fucking lets out all his anger out on fucking pressing the buttons on the keyboard to the internet to the technology world to fucking IP networking fucking social media platforms uh email through gmail and all that bullshit i mean this guy is just fucking seriously off the fucking wall fucking mentally insane fucking crazy drunk stupid ignorant stubborn selfish uh retarded deceitful very fucking deceiving fucking like there's fucking he is not right in the head fucking he has a fucking serious mental drunk problem and psychological problem with himself dude that's all i kind of fucking explain how fucking mika ajala's fucking behavior and characteristics and personalities and fucking stupid bullshit and he does all of this fucking uh, harassing fucking motive hasty actions against me by fucking Tracking down my fucking personal information. Using my personal information against me. Fucking tries to fuck writes my fucking email every fucking single day through fraudulent hacked IP networking domain. Hackery bullshit trickery. Like I said, this guy thinks he could use his IT skills against me, but that's all he fucking knows. All he knows is this fucking world is that he is a drunk fucking bastard that fucking thinks out of his fucking asshole. He has no fucking brain. And if he did have brain, brains, I would consider it shit for brains because uh, the bullshit that he is, he's a fucking serious bullshitter that fucking lives in a fantasy world 
where fucking he thinks his his proliferating nonsense bullshit like this guy is so fucking full of shit like I don't know where the fuck that the the things in common that he manipulates in his fucking mind his fucking psychological fucking psychopathic tendencies fucking like he is just very fucking like he's very deceitful like he does not stubbornly does not not want to leave me alone and this guy thinks he's out of control and fucking he has some kind of controlling manipulative power over the technology interference through the internet system through facebook through social media profiles through youtube through my internet search results by the name of lady hexenmoon and so there wise he hacks into some kind of malicious code to plant into my internet search results by the late by the name of Lady Hexenmoon. He hacks a malicious code into my internet search results to uh implant or place how would I say or program that's the, that's the word. He programs certain images of himself, personal fucking pictures of himself of his fucking stupid shit ugly face, his fucking shit smeared, fucking clown bullshit, fucking bozo the fucking clown, fucking um, anal fucking pig priest who likes to fuck horses in the ass, who is a fucking male disencanting foul vile cunt this guy is very rotten he's very fucking rude and very fucking disrespectful that he has that he has some kind of power trip over me I don't know what his fucking problem is well obviously I do know what his fucking problem is because he fucking he expresses fucking malice every fucking single day and you know it's just fucking nerve wracking as fuck. I mean can you imagine the fucking worst ex that you ever met that fucking is in your face? All day every day trying to fucking pressure you, trying to fucking taunt you, trying to fucking harass you, trying to provoke you, trying to intimidate you. Like I said, this guy is just very, very fucking toxic and he needs to be fucking put in his place. But anyway, that is the fucking story. Everybody fucking knows about it already because I'm not going to fucking shut my fucking mouth because I am very, very fucking outspoken for what everybody can see from my previous fucking post on Facebook, my fucking YouTube videos my fucking uh my blogs i guess i would consider it i would say blogs or my fucking thoughts i write my thoughts down because whenever thought comprehends into my mind i write it down as soon as possible before the thought escapes my mind before i forget so that way if the thought that i had uh concealed in my mind i write it down as soon as possible so i won't forget it and then if I do forget it, I'll go look back into what I wrote. And then that's the power of my fucking word. So, but anyway, uh, this fucking video, I'm just going to tell you that this fucking reflection right here is fucking going back to you, bitch. Okay? I'm fucking sick and tired of your fucking retarded bullshit. It's been going on for fucking six years already. And you cannot just fucking let it go because you are a fucking weak man and an insecure little fucking boy that acts like a fucking 15 year old with acting like your first heartbreak and you cannot let it fucking go, dude. You're a fucking sickening evil. How you fucking try to me as a puppet like you fucking watch me through my cameras you fucking hear all my conversations 
you fucking listen to my phone conversations your IT bullshit because they want to fucking threaten you through fucking technology interference with your fucking useless your fucking useless fucking skills your useless fucking talent it doesn't fucking do anything good for you so why I don't know why that you fucking just keep fucking repeatedly fucking offend your fucking your fucking sickening hole that fucking needs to be kicked in the fucking head to the fucking curbed and fucking your fucking head bashed in with the fucking sledgehammer because that's all you fucking deserve dude it's all you fucking deserve all the fucking manipulations the PTSD the fucking animosity you fucking create for me every fucking single day the fucking distress fucking emotional abuse like I said through all of your fucking fraudulent fucking forgeries your fucking internet fucking criminal intents your criminal intentions somebody had told me that you are very very known to be a bad guy in your village you fucking sad fool you fucking soul poor in your village that you fucking want to act like a fucking wankering fucking whore dude a male wanker whore that's all you are the fucking prostitute but fucking cousins from Finland from fucking Manta where the fuck your white maggot tree fucking bullshit over there the fucking UK Russian whatever bullshit white fucking Maggots, fucking white sheep lamb. That's all you are, dude, is just nothing but fucking, but fucking cousins. So you guys fuck each other's in the fucking ass. All of you guys in the village fools in Finland and Manta, you guys are fucking ass rape fucking cousins, bitch. That's all you guys all are. And you guys are all fucking mentally fucking insane. You guys are wrong in the head. You guys are all fucking drunk and stupid. Fucking senile and fucking dementia. You're fucking so retarded. Dude, do you fucking... Do you fucking... What What do they call it? They, they uh, fucking... Do they fucking... Put alcohol through your fucking rectum? Like, they fucking... What is that little fucking medicine bag that they fucking put liquid through your fucking anus? Is that how you fucking get drunk? Because you fucking like beer so fucking much that you worship beer every fucking day? Is that how you fucking get drunk? Is that how you fucking get drunk? By inserting it through your fucking anus, anal ass? I guess that's the way you fucking like to do it because that's how you fucking act. You fucking drunk fool. You fucking out of control bitch. You fucking, I unsubscribe from you because... You're invalid, you're void, you're fucking so fucking full of shit. You're fucking nothing but fault. You're fucking just a negative fucking toxic troll. That's all you fucking are, bitch. And you can't fucking, you can't even comprehend to be a fucking real man to be sober. Because you know what? In the power of fucking sobriety, I've been fucking sober for fucking a year and three months already. And it fucking feels so fucking good, dude. It fucking feels like the best feeling in the world. Because all of that fucking toxic alcohol in your fucking brain. It messes up your fucking brain. And it fucking it slows you down. And it fucking makes you uh, uh, slow in re retardism. It fucking, it's, it's a downer. And it fucking emotionally abuses you to make you feel sad and depressed. Because you know what? And and you despite your fucking your anger through alcoholism, your fucking alcoholic beer abuse is fucking puking disgusting gross. When you fucking overdrink, you fucking shit it out of your fucking mouth. When you fucking throw it up, that's fucking disgusting, dude. And you fucking think you're some kind of fucking superior king that you fucking overrule women. You are fucking so fucking wrong in the head, man. You don't even know what fucking faces you. you. I mean, you're fucking splitting 
fucking head where I fucking just slice you down in the fucking middle of your fucking body from your head fucking slice you down from head to fucking genital fucking cut you in half dude with axe split cause that's what you fucking deserve cause you know what if I could fucking face torture you I'd fucking mutilate the fuck out of you and I will not fucking stop And then I'll fucking dismember your fucking body and feed it to fucking hungry homeless animals. The fucking terrorism that you fucking invoke in me, it's not fucking pretty. It's fucking very sick and evil. It's a twisted fucking world. A fucking psychological fucking pressure where you could only take so fucking much. And after you reach that fucking limit, you fucking go insane and you do not fucking think of what is going around you. All you think is you see red. All you fucking see is fucking red. And even in this place, the earth or the world is not fucking big enough for us to be in the same place at the same time. Fucking no fucking way. There are some type of individuals that make me see red like this whenever I do. I fucking lose control of my mind and I fucking flip the switch and I fucking do not think. So if I was to ever, if I was to ever, ever fucking go to Finland, to Europe, in Manta, on um, fucking your address, I have your address, I have your home address, remember? Remember I sent you something and you gave me your home address? So yeah, I got your home address, so. I could sell anything I want, so I mean, be on the lookout. And something cursed, maybe? I don't know. Something fucking that uh, is gonna fucking scare you? Unwillingly? Unsuspectedly? Watch, bitch. You don't know who you... I mean, you think you could just fucking just keep fucking pressing my fucking buttons and fucking distress me, but you do not know my fucking history when I was battling my exes because you are like the fucking worst. I would put you, I would put you on a fucking pedestal of the fucking worst bitch on earth, dude. Like, I would claim you as the fucking number one worst bitch on earth that I ever fucking met in my profilerating fucking life that you fucking make the misery of your own bullshit and you try to fucking entice me down to your fucking level that's all I have to fucking say but anyway we gotta fucking get this video going fuck this bullshit so I am just gonna show you in results of this fucking bullshit this guy does to my fucking site or my street name Lady Hex and Moon wait oh dude okay we're not paying attention here okay stop that so that was that's void we're gonna correct it Sorry about that. That was a mistake. Okay. So, this is my internet search results under Lady Hex and Moon, okay? And then this fucking idiot over here thinking he has fucking intelligence or some fucking kind of smarts over fucking trying to program his fucking... Uh, his hackery bullshit, his tricks. So he fucking, obviously, you know what, this is not fucking correct. You know what, this guy it fucking changed the, my internet search results. But look, how in the fuck is Lord Sat Nakia or Dork Shit Nakia from Shit Zazel kills his Kill Zazel. Dork shit Nakia from Kill Zazel. How in the fuck is this name related to Lady Hexen? Right? Okay, so he fucking 
obviously, like, this is really new to me because he did fucking did a little bit of fucking editing on my phone. So, yeah, I'm, like, I'm fucking, this guy is just fucking stupid. Like, why the fuck is shit season with my fucking internet search results, right? See, look, and this fucking asshole wants to fucking, uh, wants to fucking be sexually, uh, cruelty, like, he wants to fucking act in fucking internet sexual cruelty, so fucking, he manipulated or he fucking programmed this fucking Etsy to fucking nudes. He fucking tries to fucking act like a sexual offender by programming certain fucking result, search results. Uh, situations into my fucking search results, right? You fucking asshole. Who the fuck do you think you are? How fucking dare you, bitch? This fucking asshole is fuck. See, you know what? Um, you know that that is fucking. You know what? You want to fucking switch everything on me, bitch? You fucking want don't want to play your little fucking games on your fucking what is it? Funny online games or whatever. But you know what though, dude? Fucking you want to keep fucking manipulating and and fucking implanting your bullshit and programming certain results into my fucking name? You're fucking retarded, dude. Uh, fucking Progent has the service to fucking track down your fucking trickery bullshit and fucking do forensic fucking... You know what? You, you are a fucking obtrusive fucking asshole. I cannot fucking stand you. And you're fucking, you're, you're just like the most fucking hated bitch ever. And, and I cannot even fucking comprehend, like, why you fucking act this way towards me. Because, you know what, I do not fucking deserve this. Seriously, dude. I mean, at least I fucking... See the the third eye right there? This right here? It moved the mountains. It fucking you got scared and you got intimidated by my ways of asking for help for somebody else to see the abuses happening. You know why you wanna keep fucking fighting, dude, you're gonna fucking lose at the end. Okay, so that was fucking kind of disappointing. I mean, this fucking bitch, of course, he's always fucking up to his fucking tricks. Why the fuck would you switch your bullshit on me? Because you know what? I mean, if I fucking did fucking scare you, then I did a good job. And that's a good thing, you know, because you deserve it and you were asking for it. And so, like, you know, all at the end, fucking... You try to make me take the, what do they say? I mean, it's kind of stupid an analogy, but Metallica, the shortest straw has been pulled out for you. You try to give me the fucking shortest straw. You try to fucking feed me the can of worms every fucking single day. You fucking, I call you fucking Johnny Valdez, dude. Johnny Valdez is a fucking pedophile who my mom, my real fucking blood mother is fucking married to who is a fucking sexual offender who fucking raped a fucking teenager and was in prison and fucking got out, touched me and my sisters and fucking went to jail for nine months and this fucking asshole thinks, these, these fucking type of men, I'm fucking telling you, these fucking type of fucking men that fucking roam around the earth that's in their green blooded vein that spurts in their fucking veins that are so fucking vile and fucking ugly and disgusting and foul those green blooded foul beasts that roam this fucking earth thinking that they could fucking have some fucking manipulation or control or try to fucking cheat a human for their own gratification then fucking sickening type of fucking individuals need to be fucking put in jail and fucking beat relentlessly to fucking show them what how abuse feels like okay abuse does not fucking feel very good and it is fucking I mean 
Abuse doesn't fucking discriminate, dude. I'm fucking telling you, abuse, I know what fucking abuse is. I've, I fucking know what abuse feels like. I was fucking molested by my cousin when I was six years old. And then when I met fucking this ex high school sweetheart named Vince Lucero fucking sexually abused me for fucking five years. He fucking drove me fucking crazy. I did something to him that would have landed me in prison, but I'm not going to say what I did. Because fucking the PTSD disorder that people that fucking put you through. The fucking pressure that fucking the abuse that another avenge, uh, another individual will always fucking try to pressure another individual through abuse. And fucking try to validate it as like nothing, like it is a, like nothing was uh, ever to be wrong. But the, in their head that everything in their fucking wrong head is right. No fucking way, dude. Okay? So yeah, I was fucking sexually abused for fucking five years from my ex high school sweetheart by fucking Vince Lucero, which was very forceful, and I would fucking try to break up with him, and he was fucking very controlling, would be in my face, like this, me and him face to face like this, screaming in each other's face on top of each other's lungs. It was a very, very fucking distressful fucking situation because this guy fucking had a fucking mental fucking problem with himself. He fucking couldn't accept rejection and fucking followed me around like a lost little fucking puppy around the high school fucking schoolyard. Made me lose all my fucking friends. Fucking sexually abused me got me pregnant on purpose because he couldn't stand for me he couldn't stand to see for me to be with another man so he got me pregnant on purpose and he was a fucking disgusting dark skinned shit looking bastard ugly motherfucker so i aborted his fucking child i never barred i never brought this child into this earth because if i would had given birth to this child fucking he would have fucking still had some kind of controlling manipulative way of controlling me and abusing me so I fucking got an abortion why not I'm not fucking ashamed of it it fucking happened right this asshole fucking was so fucking jealous of me that fucking he couldn't see me with another man fucking sexually abused me behind closed doors and fucking spread fucking sex revenge Rumors about me, about a fucking community, some fucking asshole named Joe Tapia fucking spread rumors on me through a fucking DJ fucking spreading bad rumors about me all over the fucking air. So that was a fucking traumatic experience. Fuck that bullshit. People are so fucking seriously wrong. Fucking Vince Lucero, Joe Tapia, and Laurie Montoya who, Laurie Montoya was three years older than me. I was 17 at the time. He was 20. He fucking had sex with me. It was fucking underage fucking sex. And he fucking made it hurt when he fucking had sex with me. So fuck that asshole. If I ever see him on the streets again, I was like, you know what? I'm telling you, I'll just fucking walk away from this bitch and I'll never... Just and I just pray that I fucking don't see this asshole ever again because I haven't seen seen Laudy Montoya for what is it over 20 years in 2000 yeah it's been over 20 years since I have seen Laudy Montoya he was cute he was very fine and you know we we're all young and and naive and so fucking I liked him he liked me but he fucking made it hurt and fucking so I don't want nothing to do with him. So if I ever saw him out on the streets again, I was just fucking walk away. And it's like fucking my body would probably rush and fucking just try to wait, walk away from him and fucking leave. 
Joe Montoya, uh, uh, Joe Tapia was the fucking DJ, fucking for KUNM, fucking spread all kinds of bad rumors about me all over the place in the air, just because Vince Lucero was fucking jealous of fucking. So anyway, yeah, Vince was fucking jealous of Larry Montoya. So fucking Vince was a fucking whore, dude. He fucking was fucking sexually abusing me behind closed doors. And fucking in his mind, he thought the female was just somebody to fucking sexually abuse. Because fucking he was fucking whore. Seriously. But anyway, these three in my adolescent years... Fucking these fucking assholes I fucking ruined my life. But anyway, I haven't seen fucking okay, so I told Laudy I haven't seen twenty years. I haven't seen Joe Tapia probably within five, six years. Uh, I met up with him in some fucking blood donation, fucking plasma donation facility and Fucking, he did not recognize me, but I recognized him, and I went up to him, and I told him how I felt, and I told him about my post on Facebook, that how I was musically inclined through black metal and fucking dark music and all that stuff, so I told him uh, about my Facebook profile, check out my post, check out my profile for music, so he did, and then fucking I just told him that in fucking through Facebook Messenger that I would fucking personally get a crowbar and fucking smash his face in. So, um, yeah, he told me that I was fucking evil and, but hey, you know what, fucking, if you fucking try to make trouble for somebody else, then of course they're gonna have some built up revenge and that energy whenever you see somebody else that triggers that fucking point and revenge then you're gonna just fucking leash it out right and tell them how you fucking feel right just to get some kind of justice and over it so but yeah there's that and then fucking still in around that time when vince laudy and joe were in correlation in my life uh we were still young my mother met johnny valdez which was a fucking Disgusting, bald-headed bitch, fucking skinny ass motherfucker who fucking touched and fucking raped and fucking slapped a female because she did not want to have sex with Johnny Valdez and he raped a girl and he went to prison for that and then he was a fucking um, was a prisoner uh, he fucking touched my sisters. He touched me, uh, because of an outfit that I was wearing and I fucking got scared and I fucking was on the floor. He fucking came crawling up on me and I fucking used my feet to fucking push him off. I was like, what the fuck are you doing, bitch? I'm going to fucking start punching him and fucking, I didn't punch him, but I did, but I just fucking kicked him. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? You fucking whore. I'm like, I didn't say horror, but I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck off of me. And I fucking got scared and I cried. I told my mom. My mom just brushed it off and I was like, but yeah, Donnie Valdez is a fucking really seriously bad fucking uh, bitch from Bernalillo that fucking, and people that knew him, fucking known him as a fucking bad person and fucking, um, but yeah, also, same thing with Johnny Valdez. He fucking uh, was a coach in his earlier years, I guess. He was a baseball coach and fucking baseball fucking got knocked into his fucking nut. And fucking blew off his testicle. So how in the fuck is that analogy? Fucking things happen for a reason, right? Anyway, but yeah, that is a fucking asshole and fucking... So whenever I was talking to my real mom and fucking visiting them and Johnny Valdez was still in the fucking, in the picture, fucking, he hit my mom and fucking, I called my mom one time and she was telling me 911. I'm like, what the hell? I just hung up on her and I called her the next day. And she called, she told me that Johnny Valdez had hit her and fucking he wouldn't let her use the phone and that she was bloody and fucking beat up and she was trying to ask for my help and I did not even like 
snap to what she was trying to say. So anyway, that happened, and so fucking, um, I was like, you don't hit my mom. And so I went over there, and I fucking got a rock. Yeah, I got a, a really big rock, and so Johnny Valdez was like into rocks, you know, collecting rocks, like coal rocks, look coal looking rocks, and shapes and stuff. So I got a rock that kind of looked interesting and stuff, and I opened up my hood to my car, and I asked him for help. I was like, hey, can you take my oil and stuff? He's like, yeah, he came out with me. So, you know, I was just having friendly, you know, just friendly small talk. And then all of a sudden, I fucking just got this big rock, and I fucking, boom, fucking bashed fucking Johnny on his fucking head, and I fucking knocked him down. Luckily, I didn't kill him. If I would have killed him, they would have fucking got me for murder. But you know what, though? I fucking, when I did that, I fucking knocked him down. He fucking lost fucking sight for a second. And he fucking got up. And I fucking rushed my car. And I fucking just drove off fucking crazy driving fast. And he was all fucking obliterating and fucking yelling at me. And my mom was all fucking scared and crying and called the cops on me. I was like, you know what, bitch? You don't fuck around with my mom. But why did I do that? My mom doesn't even fucking care about me. I don't give a fuck about my real mom either. Because you know what? My mom is a fucking retaliating bitch too. Because she's just this fucking badass fucking Johnny Valdez. I mean, they say the person that you're with is supposed to be your reflection. And uh, Johnny Valdez, he's a fucking gross pervert. So, and the way that um, if you dress pretty or if you dress nice... And if you go in front of my mom, my mom looks at you like at a certain, like, really creepy way. And it's just like, you could see, like, the, the green blood in her just, like, crushing through her veins and stuff. And Yeah, my mom is a fucking troll, too, so I fucking hate that bitch, too. I would fucking proudly say I fucking hate my real mom. Hey, there are some fucking people that feel this way, but you know what? I'm not fucking ashamed of that. I will tell you that. Anyway, done with mom and fucking Johnny Valdez and we will all fucking say another story about fucking um, when I was 12 years old. Uh, my dad had some friend uh, named James Barala and uh, James Barala had a brother. I don't know what his name was because I was too young to remember th till this day. But anyway, James younger James younger brother was uh, also a fucking pedophile and fucking raped children and also touched and molested uh, young girls. I want to also tell you I was also molested by this guy. I don't know what, I think his name was James. As I recall, it comes to me like sometimes whenever I forget about a name I was just thinking seconds and then it just comes to me I think his name was James Barala but anyway James Barala was a fucking pedophile that was a uh, uh, my dad's friend and my dad kind of knew about how he used to molest children but still was his friend because he was friends with um, with his older brother anyway but, uh, so, I was 12 years old, and, um, we, my dad and, and this guy used to hang out, and we used to hang out with the family, and, and then we asked if we can go stay the night with, with him, with their family, and, and so my dad let us, and then, um, we went swimming, and then this guy, the, James Barala had, uh, touched me down there, like kind of like I don't know it's kind of graphic in detail he fucking just like touched me while I was like trying to swim part like my private parts were right here he was touching me like this and holding my body swimming across like that I'm like so I just kind of brushed it off I was too, too young and too naive to even know what was going on and I was like well that was kind of strange so I just blew it off and I was like okay whatever is it like like was that supposed to happen or like why did that happen I'm like why did you touch me like that and, but anyway it was just kind of mysteriously in the back of my mind I was like why did he do that I'm like I don't know why he did that but I was just brushed it off and I was like okay the, well that was kind of normal I thought 
which obviously wasn't. And then my sister Angela um, got scared and told me that she was being touched by him too. And she was scared and crying to me and telling me to... So I didn't tell my dad or anything. So I just gave my sister a hug and I was like, okay, yeah, I won't say anything to, to dad or anything. And um, my sister Rachel also told me the same thing that she, he was touching her. And then Angela told me a story that when um, he came to the house, he used to go to the bathroom and then he gave my sister Angela a mirror and he would tell my sister Angela to lay on the floor and put the mirror like looking inside under the door and he was jacking off and so like he was telling my sister like do you see what I'm do you see what I'm doing and my sister was like no I don't see what you're, you're doing but he was fucking jacking off in the fucking bathroom and telling my sister to look under the door with the mirror so my sister could see this guy jacking off and yeah he was fucking weird but anyway uh, I heard he had um, sex with uh, so his older his older brother's kids so anyway i don't know if these two guys were alive are still alive i know uh the guy that had did this molestation had died but james Barala, the older brother i think he died too i don't know they had that family that Barala's family they had a lot of fucking family members and they all fucking died it was just like weird they had like a lot of family members and they were just like dying from left to right there was like 10 to 15 family members and they were just dying I mean I don't know what if their family was cursed by death or I don't know but this was like in uh probably like in 94 95 yeah around that time 1994 1995 in my younger days when I was like 12 or 13 years old so yeah there's that one, there's that story, and then, this is the worst, I fucking tell you, this is the fucking worst, so, um, like, it really seems like bad men enter my life, and I met Roberto Sali, who introduced me to Facebook, and told me to sign up for a Facebook profile so I did and then so we broke up me and Roberto we broke up in 2005 and then after that I was single and I wanted to go look upon Facebook to see if I could find a relationship and then I found Mika Adala and so like we started talking for about a year two years I think we were talking communicating 2015 2016 is when I broke it off and then uh, so after I broke it off in 2016 after talking to him through messenger and Facebook communication I broke it off because I got a weird fucking vibe that this asshole was always drunk and at the time I was drinking myself I was drinking alcohol at the time and so like it was a very neurotic fucking, um, anyway, alcohol would always make me angry. So like between me and Miko and alcohol in the mix, I don't think it would have fucking came out, uh, not very pretty. I, it's, obviously it's a fucking mess. So yeah, I would be a fucking drunk mess. So anyway I stopped drinking alcohol last year in July 6 2020 yes July 6 2020 is when I stopped alcohol anyway but getting an affiliation with Facebook through Roberto Soli influencing me on face signing up for Facebook then I signed up for Facebook got in contact with Mika Ajala and broke it off in 2016 through Facebook broke it off it with Mika Ajala in 2016 and then after that 
is when the fucking internet stalking behavior bullshit started happening that Miko Ajala tracked down my personal information because he was not mad enough to accept rejection from women and this guy is a fucking psychopath who is off the wall drunk who is has a fucking uh, obsessive panic disorder to fucking interfere with me in my life so I fucking notice him because he wants to fucking have sex with me and I refuse to have sex with him so he does not know what the fuck to do in his desperate attempts for me to notice him trying to make advances at me telling me that he wants to fucking get with me I'm like you know what you were done in 2016 and obviously you got some kind of problem with yourself that you cannot accept in your own mind saying that you cannot accept rejection because that is the more most power to that because I will never have sex with you and that is the greatest advantage I would have over this situation so this guy is just fucking like he's like the worst I'm telling you, this is the worst person I met in my whole entire life because, like, the behavior that is just very compulsive and very controlling and very disorderly, it's not fucking right, man. Like, fucking there are some people that do roam in this earth that fucking act in this particular behaviors and they just need to fucking be corrected because um they have some fucking power control over but it's just fucking false like why do you fucking try to fucking act the way the way you do and it's just fucking it's just stupid i mean why I mean, go do something with your fucking life. Go get a fucking job. Go fucking distract yourself fucking from fucking leaving me alone. Because I have, I don't want no association with you. I don't, I don't want nothing to do with you. I mean, I don't know how many times I have to cut, fucking keep telling you. No. The power of fucking no. You do not fucking know what that is. And you fucking just keep fucking ignoring that like it's like it's nothing like no does not mean nothing to you well the power of my no means something to me because like in my world you can never you can never can control me I mean I have my own personal control over my own self and and you try to fucking act in a way where you want me to fucking notice you it's just you're you're just stupid dude I, I i don't know what else to fucking tell you you i mean i try to explain it to you how many times over and over again how your obsessive compulsion your fucking repeated uh toxic behaviors it's nothing good you're you're just void that's all you are but god damn it i keep fucking all right, let's 